Hey everybody, welcome to the library. Typically, as many of you know who watch this channel, we shoot from the video room or do the presentation from the, the big sanctuary barn. We had the most wonderful conversation yesterday that I wanted to share with those of you who follow us and the ones that don't. So if you find this interesting, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe. We talked about the divides that separate us, whether they are religious, political, uh, just anything that differs from the way you think. And it was a very intimate group uh, because yesterday was the Super Bowl and we live here in North Louisiana and East Texas. So we had a big Mardi Gras parades and a lot of people that come we knew weren't going to be here. Plus it was thunderstorming. But we had a decent crowd and it was real intimate. Like I mean, we always are intimate, but this was uh, a little smaller than normal. 10 or so people and we started sharing things that were really bothering us and how do we relate to people that just you can't relate to <laughs> I guess if you tell yourself you can't relate to them then you can't relate to them but part of the conversation was that if you want to have a conversation with somebody you care about then both people have to be willing and able to come together, to have that discussion, whether you're married, whether it's a good friend, an acquaintance, whatever, if both people aren't 100% listening and 100% respectful to get to what the other one is trying to say and then communicate and logically uh, go over, especially let's say it's politics. Uh, you know, we have people that come here that are die-hard Republicans. We have some that come here that are die-hard Democrats. And, and to me, that, that is a very silly notion because we live in a purposefully divided nation. And it, I believe it's totally unnecessary because you, for the most part, you cannot classify someone as solely a Republican or solely a Democrat. Most people just can't neatly fit into that box. I know a lot of Republicans that say, well, I want and feel like we should have some type of system, not necessarily uh, government controlled, but some type of system where everyone gets health care uh, for free instead of spending all this money on different countries around the world and that sort of thing. So you, that's not a typical Republican stance. So you can't put them in that category. You have Democrats that say we should be taking better care of our vets. Our vets should have the top mental care. They should have the top health care that surpasses anything in the world. We ask these young people to sacrifice their life. They volunteer. And in so doing, we have one of the highest suicide rates amongst soldiers. We have massive depression, massive trauma, massive post-traumatic stress disorder. And they're one of the leading numbers of homeless. But that is a, uh, that's a big problem. And why is that? Because, you, well, there's a lot of reasons for it. But you can't categorize those Democrats that feel that way into a democratic box and in both parties, both the people that come here and the people that I know are, they so commingle their beliefs, but they still check that one box. I think we should be checking none of the above. It's just a fact. There are a bunch of solutions to that, uh, the political system, that's a whole nother podcast. But I'm just talking about how to separate the divides, to listen to people, to, actually get to what they're saying because so many times they just people blindly get offended and feel like they can't have a conversation with somebody that is of the opposite belief system of theirs when in fact in, mo in many cases they commingle so much you can't really tell them apart especially when they start honestly going over their beliefs how does that belief system take place like the 40,000 denominations of christianity you know, if one particular denomination resonates with you 
that doesn't mean we should ostracize or outcast any of the others. If you're a, a Buddhist, you certainly aren't going to demonize Christians. And if you're Christians, you shouldn't be demonizing other religions that are worshiping how they were taught, the only thing they know and understand. It just seems silly. We're all human. We're all trying to do, I say all, the majority of us are trying to survive in a way that lowers our anxiety level, that enhances our relationships with ourselves and with others, and ultimately communicate with the infinite the best way we know how. And instead, we're just constantly creating these divides and divides and divides and separation and separation and not practicing the art of listening. Instead, we're doing this, which I think is horrible. Like, that's really, really bad. And if these kind of intimate discussions appeal to you and you would like to have a group that gets together to discuss these things and actively practice on how to be better people, to know ourselves better, to know and communicate and build strong, lasting relationships, and to ultimately meditate and communicate with the divine in your own individual way, then, and if you're in the local area, you know, come out and see us. We gather every Sunday at 1.15, the presentations, interviews, group sessions, uh, all those different things. Every Sunday is a little different. It starts at one at one o'clock, but that means everybody's already seated. We've already got the cameras rolling. Normally, we don't always have them rolling, but some most of the time. And so, be here at one fifteen if you got an interest in coming. You don't need to be afraid. You know, oftentimes we feel this this fear or anxiety about meeting new people you know oh, I might say the wrong thing I might do the wrong thing they might not like me what if it's too big of a group what if it's a waste of time you know you're never going to know if, this, if our videos resonate with you come out and see us we would really welcome you we believe and I firmly believe that one of the ways to make this world better is to come together in honest groups that have their judgment is way down there and all we can do is try our best the art of practice the art of listening so we can build very powerful strong relationships with each other i believe that's what the infinite wants us to do i believe that is the way humans are built and i believe it is healthy it is good to have a friend you can call when you got a flat. It's good to say, hey, I need somebody to talk to. And, hey, do you happen to know this person that maybe can get me this better job? Or can you uh, help me with my career path? Or marketing X, Y, and Z. You know, you, when you have an eclectic group of people that gather, uh, they can do these things and help each other the best possible way. And if that resonates with you, come out and see us. You can find us at themysticsoftexas.com mysticsoftexas.com and of course if this resonates with you please like and subscribe and please join us on our other presentations and our interviews and all of our videos and that's what you'll get if you subscribe you'll be notified of that if you click the notifications so thanks guys and uh, we'll see you next time